guys, Storko4 here with another Storks review. Today I will be doing Portal. It's a really good one, and I didn't realize how much of a classic it was until I went back and started playing it again, and man, all the nostalgia and everything started coming back to me. So I, I would right off say this is an amazing game, just because when I went back to it, it does hold up to time. Um, it's for computer, PC, came out with the console versions later for when Portal 2 came out. Bo both are a great game, but Portal 1 is just an amazing one. I as far as the replayability, like I said, it's even after de a decade, I went back and started playing it. And Even though I already knew the puzzles, just the atmosphere, the game, the quirkiness of the characters, and everything is just... It's so unique to this game that even when you know everything it's still amazing to play and this time my son was watching so it's definitely kid appropriate <laughs> he, he was enjoying all the little talks that the computers were saying back and forth so it's 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 fun for for everybody even if you're just getting into it even after a decade of time so so that to me really shows an amazing game it's even though it's a fairly short game it does have a story i, I played games with much more content that don't even have stories so th this one you're trapped in a little scientist you gotta escape and the robots telling you all these things that'll help you get out and then eventually the robot turns on you and that's when the game just gets crazy and fun um, so it's 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 very interesting how they tied such a simple story to be so interactive it, it's fun and as as far as menus, there's not really like a pause menu. It's it's fairly left click to use a blue portal, right click to use an orange portal. Um, very simple controls. I don't even think there's a run key. There's a crouch key and a jump key, and then move forward, backwards, left and right. So it it's very very simplistic, but it, it, I've never played a, a better game. The art style is kind of like a. It almost reminded me of like, like a Fallout kind of laboratory. You're stuck in a fun zone um, with all that 60s feel, even though it's high-tech technology. You get this feeling that you're in an older world. But, um, I mean, more, more to that is uncovered with Portal 2, but I don't want to give away too much stuff. But it's, it's, it's definitely fun. If you play the newer versions, I know when I first started playing, they didn't really have trophies, but now since it's on Steam, Steam has its trophies, and so it's it's definitely rewarding that way. Um, you have even if you know the puzzles, there might be a uh, challenge where it says only use ten portals instead of unlimited like you're used to. So it it really makes you solve the puzzle even though you know how to get out of there. It, it makes you think even more. Um, so the replayability is truly off the charts and, and it's great especially if you're trying to get all those trophies as far as multiplayer goes it's just a single player game um, I know the second one tried to incorporate multiplayer but I haven't played too much on the multiplayer I was so used to playing single player and I don't think it had any expansions or anything I mean when you buy it on Steam I'm sure it just comes with everything automatically but it, it's definitely a great buy um, Due to the fact that it is a smaller game, you don't really get any bugs. Um, I know nowadays games coming out have bugs out the wazoo, but this is a fairly polished game, and it's easy to play through without having weird glitches going on all the time. And as far as save points goes, you can just save whenever you want, so even if you're in the middle of a puzzle, you can just save, you can just quit. Um, they do have trophies for completing the game without leaving at all um, but if you absolutely had to just leave you're not going to lose anything with this so that's another plus um, and yeah that's the short review I, I don't want to go into too much and I don't want to show too much footage of the actual puzzles because if you've never played the game it is really fun trying to solve these puzzles and yeah, even my son at four years old he was sitting there with me he's like go oh, put the block there try putting the block there so he, he was even enjoying it so it's it's fun for all ages it's it's a great game a well well worth the money i don't even i don't even know what it's worth right now but even at 60 dollars, i'd buy it and I'm, I'm sure it's well well under that um but yeah that's my review and thank you guys for watching and if you like and enjoy hit that button and have a great day